Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org and HeroNews.org, and I'm here with the gorgeous Georgina Pascogan. How are yes. you? I'm amazing. How are you? I am a little bit like nervous because you are an amazing, amazing dancer and a Broadway person. So it's Broadway and ballet, which is what we love. The two Bs. And you know, you're at New York City Ballet. You're a soloist there. Tell us how that journey started. Oh my goodness, how did that journey start? Well, I moved to New York when I was 16 and went to the School of American Ballet. And oddly enough, we were just talking about this date. My first day at School of American Ballet and Professional Children's School was September 11th. Oh, wow. So, 2001. And that was kind of a life-changing experience for us all here in New York and all over the world. But specifically for me, it was kind of marked the day that I grew up. And it was my first day of my this journey here to come to New York City Ballet. And it was kind of a deciding point, like, oh, I was re we were all really scared. And my mother really wanted me to turn around and come home. And she very recently said that I told her the world needs art now more than ever. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I wasn't necessarily accepted into New York City Ballet. I'm not the quintessential ballerina uh, type. I'm not, I, especially when it comes to body type. I'm also um, one of the, I'm the first Asian American woman to ever be promoted at New York City Ballet. So it was interesting time and I didn't realize why I didn't fit in was because there was no one around me that I could look to as a sort of um, a mentor. So Georgina, not only are you an elite ballet athlete, <laughs> let's call it, um, but you also are a triple threat, and you've done acting and singing and been on Broadway. And now you're currently in Cats. You got a little injured. What happened? Well, I actually got injured in New York City Ballet. I took a leave of absence. I play Victoria the White Cat. How do you like being on Broadway? What, why is that different from the ballet? I love Broadway. Broadway feeds my soul. But Broadway gave me the ability to step out of this box that I had been put in in the ballet world. And it allowed me to, they took a chance on me and they cast me as Victoria, who's very, uh, in, in theory, in her breakdown, is innocent and romantic and- Gorgeous. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I necessarily would not have cast myself as that. And what is one thing that you think is quirky about you? I'm a huge science nerd. I, I subscribe to Scientific American. Oh, like, you mean real science, not like sci-fi? No, like real science. Wow. So scientific American's my favorite magazine, so. So Georgina, one of the reasons we picked you to be a Broadway hero is one, because of Louis Villabon. Thank you, Louis. We Thanks love you. Thanks, Louis. Is because you do so much work with charity. Can you tell us about some of the projects you're currently working on? There, uh, this all came about as a result of kind of entering the Broadway community and realizing that together as artists, we can make a difference. So I am working with uh, Orphan Starfish and Arte Amor, two wonderful foundations that go to third world countries and Orphan Starfish builds tech centers for orphanages to help these young children get a leg up in education so that they are more prepared to enter the work, you know, the workspace and can maybe break the thresholds that their economic status would never let them surpass. And Arte Amor is, it's a husband and wife team. So Dilia w has our, contacted me to come with Arte Amor to a recent trip to Nicaragua where I visited 31 beautiful, lovely ladies who are subjected to physical abuse, emotional abuse, some sexual abuse. And they, the age ranges are from four to 18. And this trip happened almost three days after I had severely hurt myself. And Delia called me, she said, you know, you don't have to go if you don't want to. I would never expect anyone to. I was like, I'm going. I saw a healer, a crazy <laughs> healer. And I told the healer that he just, as long as you can get me off crutches, like, we're game. can't say no because she's also agreed to perform at our benefit which is the Broadway and Ballet Hero Awards on October 16th where you match beautiful ballet dancers with amazing Broadway singers so put that on your calendar we'll have more information on that so thank you so much for agreeing to that. 
A dancer dances. A dancer dances. <laughs> God, that was so terrible. <laughs> Georgina, as you know, we're a site for newly diagnosed and people live with HIV, and we really work hard for prevention of getting the disease. Now we have this great tool called PrEP, but what people don't know is that PrEP is just as effective in women as, as it is in men for preventing the disease, almost 99%. What are your thoughts on how we reach women and your thoughts about women using PrEP? Oh my God, I mean, this is relatively new news to me, and I hate to sound like a neophyte in this sort of area, but I think we should get out there. There should be women who, you know, I'm very happy to say, like, I'm going to the gynecologist and I'm gonna ask about PrEP next week. And I am unafraid to be that spokesperson, I think. I think we need to put it out there that this is this is a disease that affect, affects everyone. This is not an LGBT like problem. This is a this is a worldwide epidemic, and the resurgence of it is uh, of of people dying from complications from HIV and AIDS is alarming to me. I mean, I, I today actually is the anniversary of a dear friend who passed away. And he passed away because he didn't take care of himself. Mm -hmm. He was positive, and he just stopped taking the pills. And if we have a we have we have a way to prevent it, so we don't have to get to that point where it's it's, it's continuing care. Right. And to take you know this prep, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I'll scream it from the top of a mountain. Okay. So listen, yeah, it's not as prevalent in Midwest and other parts of the country. In New York and California, it's really been promoted, but soon it will be available everywhere and hopefully around the world. And guess what? If everyone got on PrEP and these insurance companies and especially the drug companies didn't charge this much money, we could eliminate AIDS right now, just so you know. Thank you so much for being our Broadway hero, actually your Broadway and ballet hero for July, which is summer and Gay Pride is just happening now. So thank you so much for joining us, and I think that your career has just started. You're just going to go up and up and up and up and share your talent with the world. Thank you so much for having me. It means so much to be here to help represent the females in the game.